Six days have passed since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began. Over the past two, Russia ramped up attacks in two major cities. But the majority of the force remains stalled just north of the capital. So the Ukrainian defenders digging in for another day of warfare. But President Zelensky of Ukraine says they desperately need help. Here are the three big things you need to know from overnight. So we're going to start in northeastern, the city of uh, Kharkiv. This is where explosions tore through the region's administrative building. The attackers entered entered the city three days ago. They were pushed back and are now shelling the area. As the second largest city in Ukraine is the home to an airfield Russia could use for future attacks. Now, back in the capital of Kyiv, five people were killed in an attack on a TV tower. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky sounded off with his conversation on President Joe Biden. The Ukrainian president says he told Biden he appreciates all the help from the U.S. and the others but they simply can't fight the Russians by themselves. President Zelensky says if NATO is not ready to admit Ukraine, then he wants security guarantees. He also said he would be willing to sit at the negotiation table with Russian President Putin. But Zelensky said before he'll do that, President Putin needs to stop bombarding the cities of Ukraine. Now, President Biden reiterated that he will not intervene in the conflict with military personnel, but the troops he did send to help defend NATO interests have arrived in Germany. The 7,000 men and women are from Fort Stewart, Georgia, just two hours north of Jacksonville. Around 80,000 U.S. military service members are already stationed in Europe.